I'd like to start off by saying that I don't have a fucking clue why I'm posting this, or really, at all. Maybe I'm afraid of dying or something. The events described in the story happened a month and a half ago. Although, I, uh, actually had all this typed up about two weeks ago, I just haven't really had the guts to post this until what happened yesterday. Well, the story starts in late September when my family went to go visit our relatives, who invited us to celebrate one of them, um, Des Desiree getting, like, 2,000 bucks and some scratch-off lottery thing. They... See, they live in this really fucking shitty part of Shenandoah that people from Charlestown, uh, Shepherdstown, and Ranson, basically the least shitty parts of West Virginia, like to call Squalor Holler. Nothing but ramshackles, shacks, rusty-ass, rebuilt trailers, everything fucking covered in decades-old Christmas decorations because they're all too busy being smelly rednecks to ever clean up. Real deliverance shit. Just... No rivers or canoes. The relatives that we were visiting are absolutely confirmed inbreeders, all cousins fucking each other. We don't refer to them as aunt, uncle, whatever, just relatives. Not terrible people or anything, just absolutely cartoonish, depressing hillbilly. So anyway, we're up here in this godforsaken trailer. It sucks. There's like eight of them, plus me, my dad, my mom, and my sister. About two hours in, my mom takes my cell phone so that I can focus on the family time together, which is bullshit. All we did the whole time was eat TV dinners and be forced to watch NASCAR and shit. And after like six hours of this shit, about ten minutes before we're supposed to leave, it starts raining. And they know how treacherous the roads can get up on the mountain, so we decide to wait for the rain to die down. Flash flood two hours later. It's fucking dark as hell. Ten o'clock and there's a flood warning for the area. I have my phone back by this time. No reception though, of course. I'm playing Tetris and Texas Hold'em and stuff. When suddenly I hear my dad start losing his shit in the next room. I walk over and it turns out that they let slip that they buried their kid. Thomas, outside, and apparently were afraid that the rain would wash up his body or some other horse shit. The kid was like six, and he was attacked by a dog, and they never told the cops, just, just fucking buried him like, like he was a family pet. My dad flipped his shit, and rightfully so, because, you know, we live in the 21st century and all, so my relatives all say that they'll sort it out in the morning. My parents tell me and my sister to stay in the same room as them during the night. And we do. None of us really suspected that they'd killed Thomas or anything, since they're all really peaceful. They didn't they didn't even have any guns aside from this one old timey double barrel shotgun they had on the mantle. Nevertheless, we were creeped the fuck out and intended to tell the cops in the morning once we got to town. So it was like three in the morning. I couldn't sleep. Power had gone out for the fifth time or so, and I'm I'm not able to charge my dead phone. Worst part is, I could see Thomas's little grave right outside the window. A little cross on it and everything, and I assume the kid couldn't have been buried deep at all since they were so worried about him just washing up out of the grave. So I was just fixated on it. I kept being drawn to look out the window. And then I see the fucking worst thing in my life. Something was creeping through the trees toward the house. I stared at it for a while, but couldn't get a good look at it since it was raining and the brush was so thick. For a few minutes I assumed it was two really pale horses kind of ambling through the woods side by side, but then it walked into the moonlight. And I saw that it was all one thing, like a kind of human torso, but wider. It finally stepped into full view and I saw it had something like six legs, kind of somewhere between a beetle's legs and a horse's legs, two arms right where someone would normally have them, but they were about a half a foot longer than any normal man's arms. It had a bald head, but the face looked like some sort of fucking bizarre masquerade ball kind of mask. It's fucking clenched up furrowed forehead and a nose that looked sort of like a crow or a raven's beak. It didn't have eyes either, just like the depressions where eyes would go. It, it looked like it had a human mouth. 
must have been like seven, eight feet tall, but sounded like it was weighing maybe like 150 pounds at most. It started moving towards Thomas's grave, and then I, then I finally snapped out of whatever trance I was in, and it just, I just screamed. My mom was the first to wake up, and I told her to look out the window. She rushes over. She doesn't really seem to understand what she's looking at. After a minute, though, the thing bends down and starts pawing at the grave with his hands. My dad and Jasper run in, and Jasper just fucking loses his shit, screams like a little girl, runs back out of the room, yelling for his father, yelling, It's outside. It came, and it's outside. I look back and see the thing is digging furiously at the ground, kicking up huge mounds of dirt. I hear these sounds of feet running around the house. I think they're looking for the shotgun. The thing reaches into the hole and grabs up what I assume was Thomas's body by the leg in one hand. The thing kind of gallops back into the woods, snapping all the branches and shit. And then... That's when we all hear it. A kid crying. The sound of a child sobbing and crying from the direction that that thing took off in. We left as soon as the rain let up. At like 5 a.m., uh, I didn't even think we told anyone at the house. Drove straight back to Rents and only stopping for gas. No one said a word to each other. My family refuses to speak about what happened. I tried to bring it up once just to make sure that it was real. My dad told me to shut the fuck up, so I did. I, I typed this all up about three weeks after it happened, but just saved it to a notepad file and left it alone. Never mentioned to any of my family or friends or anything, just tried to erase it from my mind and get, get absolutely fucked up drunk whenever my thoughts lingered on it. It mostly worked. Up until yesterday. See, I work at this gas station in Ranson from the 8 p.m. to 3. I work the register, keep the place clean, and take out the trash. Yesterday, when I was bringing the trash bags over the back of the building for, for the dude in the morning to take care of, I heard what I was... I had assumed to be some junkie fucking around in the dumpster. I yelled at whoever it was a couple of times to get the hell out before I called the cops, but as I walked towards the source of the noise... I suddenly heard those same footsteps. A soft thump, thump, hooves, or feet, or whatever the hell they were. I turned right around and went back into the store and hid behind the counter. I looked over at the outside security monitor to see some kind of movement just off screen, something huge, casting a huge shadow and moving, catching a glimpse of, 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 uh, I, I don't know, an elbow or something, a pale limb darting in and out of view. It had to have been the same thing. I waited for it to leave, and after a while it did. I woke up behind the counter at 6 a.m. this morning to my manager giving me this fucking look like I was a drug addict or something. I went home, and, um, and I recorded this. That's about it.